So you're going to spotlight myself one moment. Right. And then we can also just hit speaker view and we can just see the full screen of you for those of, for the participants. Exactly. So if you want to do full screen for your viewing um, <clears throat> uh, pleasure, I guess, <laughs> so that you can see it, you know, if you're at home on a screen, so it's in a little box, you hit the speaker view in the corner, the right top right hand corner. Now, <clears throat> So first of all, I want to say thank you for joining me. Um, I'll give you a little bit of background. My name is Celine Ramirez. Um, I'm based in California, and I'm an Iyengar yoga teacher. Um, just want to say that Iyengar yoga is very specific to alignment. Um, it's a little bit more, um, it's a little bit slower, but we're really conscious of how we move. And a lot of it uh, serves to bring awareness to these areas. For example, today is our shoulders and neck. Um, so I'll be working with the shoulders to better align the position of the head and neck. So we'll go ahead and I'll give you some more information on that, but that's what we'll be doing. Now, a lot of this is also um, when we're teaching Iyengar yoga, one of the big differences between Iyengar and the other flow is the feedback you get. Um, so if you want feedback, then you can share your screen, share your um camera no pressure or anything but that's if you want feedback just so we can so we can assess i know um most people you know are home and they they want to be behind the camera that's perfectly okay i just like to give you that option because we've grown so used to zoom but um i just wanted to give you that option okay great i'm gonna go ahead now and back up here all right. So now someone asked earlier if I should sit on a chair or on the floor. You have options. Okay. So you can sit on a chair or on the floor. If you're on the floor, you want to be, um, let me show you right now. And then I'm going to sit on my chair because this is advertised as a chair workshop and we're going to stay there, but you have options to do that as well. Okay. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just folding a blanket. It doesn't have, it can be anything, a towel, a blanket, or a bolster, which is these cushiony things over here. <clears throat> and I'm just folding it in half. And so when we're sitting, this is important because this is gonna, uh, this is the base of the pose. So if you're sitting, you're sitting cross-legged and you're crossing your shins. Now notice here that my knees are, at my hip. I'm not sitting like this, watch. Okay, I don't want to sit like that. First of all, it's tightening. I'm gripping here at the groins um, in my body. So I want to actually release that inner groin down to the inner knee. All right, and then I want to be on my buttock bones. So I'm actually adjusting the flesh so that I'm on the buttock bones. This is connecting to the base. This is super important because everything else, your posture is lifting up from that base. So if you're crooked, like let's say I'm on this buttock more, I'm gonna lift up like this, you see, to the right. And the same thing. Or if I'm leaning forward, not forward on my buttock bones, I'm leaning forward and I'm lifting. So I wanna be at the center, not forward or left, but right in the middle and I wanna lift up straight up. So that's if you're sitting on the floor. Um, so next week when we move to the mat, I'll give you more um, more direction with that. But for everyone else who came because you wanted to be on the chair, we're gonna go on the chair now, okay? Get this here. And I'm just gonna adjust here <laughs> so that we are on the chair. Okay. And you see I have props back here. All right, good. So now I'm gonna just turn to the side so you can see me here because this is important. So you're gonna sit on your chair. Now first sit upright. I'm gonna move this here so you can really see me in the chair. So I'm sitting on the chair and I wanna be on an even surface. I have my feet planted into the floor firmly. 
Okay, so you want to be stable here. My feet are hip width apart and I'm sitting tall. Notice that I'm not slouching back or slumped, right? I'm I'm actually on my buttock bones evenly, okay? And I'm my right shoulders are over my hips. This is important because this is what happens a lot at work. You see how much I've already started to slump forward already from that posture. So first you've got to set up shoulders over the hips. So let's just do that much. All right, and now we're gonna lift the abdomen up and the chest. And we're just gonna sit here a moment and just observe, is that hard for you? Is it a lot of effort? Because this is what your body's telling you and we're observing, right? Just to bring awareness to this area. So take a breath through your nose. Inhale. And exhale. Try to keep your posture as you breathe through your nose. Inhalation, exhalation through the nose. And just be here a moment. Good. All right, and I'm just going to have you relax. So when you relax, you sit normal, right? Normal for us kids, different for every person. And I'm going to face forward now so I can see you. You can see me. Thank you. Yeah, here we go. All right. <clears throat> All right. Good. So we're going to sit up tall now. And again, I'm not uh, forward. I'm not back on my chair. I'm kind of in the middle, definitely more forward than back. So the buttock bones are on the chair. Thighs are coming off. I'm sitting up tall, nice and tall. Just be here a moment. And we're going to start to extend our arms out. Reach through your fingertips. That's it. Keep reaching through, expanding the chest now. Lift from your pelvis, which is right here. Lift the abdomen up, bottom sternum to top sternum. So the bottom sternum is here and you're lifting all the way up here to your collarbone, right here in the middle. There's that notch, you're lifting that area, even the collarbones. So you're really working here to lift your torso up. Now extend from the middle of your collarbones through your fingertips. Really reach through, really extend, reach. Don't let this happen, okay? So don't loosen your fingers. I see that a lot in classes. So extend through the fingertips. Shoulder blades are going down. And also one more thing I do see a lot is this, this uh, trapezius lifting. So lengthen that area, let go. And breathe here a moment through your nose. So the longer we hold it, Right, it it becomes like it becomes harder to hold your posture. Okay, and we're gonna let go. I just wanted you to connect here to your breath a moment and your posture. Okay, your your limbs, really your your upper arms. Good. So now, um, I know this is a chair workshop, but we are gonna do a few standing. Now we're not gonna do standing poses, but we are gonna stand on our feet. Um, and especially in the beginning, just to warm up. So now I'm going to stand up, okay? On the I'm not on the chair. I'm just going to stand up next to the chair. If you need the chair to hold balance, you can use it. But we're just standing tall, okay? Standing tall. All right. Okay, good. So standing tall in. All right, standing tall. Extend through the fingertips. Spread the toes and stay tall a moment. Now, I'm gonna reach my arms up over my head. My arms might get cut up, get cut up a little bit, but reach through the fingers. Really reach up through up to the ceiling. Now, turn your palms to face the sides of the room, the right side, the left side, and press through, really as if you're pressing through water or mud, something heavier than air. Feel how your shoulder blades turn on. One more time, arms up, overhead. 
reach through the fingers, reach the fingers up towards the ceiling. In fact, let's all look up. Look up a moment. Reach, 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 reach. And now look forward. Don't drop your posture. Keep your chest lifted up. Palms face the sides of the room. And now push down, really press down. Press through all the way down. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now, come to, this pose is Tadasana, it's mountain pose. We're standing tall, lifting the chest, shoulders down. Now, one more time, inhale. As you inhale, lift your arms up, all the way up. See if that's a little bit easier now. Good. Now inhale one more time. And exhale. Bring your arms back behind you. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Arms back behind you. Imagine someone's there pressing them back. Open the arms. Open the chest. And your armpits will start to spread open. Take a breath here. Good, now we're gonna turn our palms to face the sides of the room. And press, 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 press all the way down. Extend through the fingertips, shoulder blades down. That's it, stand tall. Good, nice job. Okay, good, that's just to kind of open up, get the blood flowing. All right, now good. Now we're going to sit back down again on our chair. All right. So you can sit back down on the chair. Okay, good. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing now, sitting. All right. So again, now I want you to sit tall. Sit on your sit bones properly. So not too forward not too back, evenly, okay? So not on the right, not on the left, evenly. Connect there, because this is the base. It's like pressing the heels into the floor evenly. All right, now press the heels down, be tall, and you wanna have your legs also uh, parallel to each other, all right, about hip width apart. And now lift here from this pelvis, up to the abdomen and from the bottom sternum to the top sternum. So this whole cavity is lifting up. You just breathe here a moment and we're gonna extend our arms out. Feel that arm, the arm, the work in the arms. Reach to the arms. But now palms facing up. We're gonna have the palms facing up. Turn the upper arms out too. So the upper arm is turning from inside out and it's turning from this root. I'm turning from here. I'm not just turning my palms. The entire arm bone is turning up, okay? So that's part of the femur connecting as part of that shoulder joint, right? So turning those arms from inside out. Good, now reach through the arms. Spread the collarbones. Inhale through your nose. Shoulder blades release down the back. Uh, now inhale, lift your arms up like we just did. Turn the upper arms in. Okay, so now from here, I'm going to show you. I'm going to bring my arm, my bottom arm here. I'm going to take my arm here to my top arm, and I'm going to turn it in. So that arm is turning it. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. You have to do it with your mind now because you won't physically be able to move it. You'll have to, uh, well, you have to physically move it, but without your adjustment, right? Okay, so turning the upper arms in towards the nose. The palms face each other this time. Palms are facing each other. Inhale, get taller. Use your arms to lift you. Use your arms with each inhalation, lift taller. Get taller. Lift your body up with your arms so that your side waist and side ribs are tall. That's it, reaching the body up. Now inhale, exhale, bring your arms back behind you like we just did. One more time. Inhale and exhale, arms back. Open the armpits. 
and you're opening the chest by bringing your arms back. Good. Now exhale. You can bring your arms down in front of you. Good job. That's it. Lift the chest. Be tall a moment. Okay. So now I just want you to take note a moment um, about how you're feeling because these poses that we're doing with our arms overhead are very stimulating um, and um, heating, right? You can feel they warm you up. Um, so we're just trying to get that blood flow also moving in this whole area, shoulders and neck. And just observe that. It should make you a little bit more alert. All right, good job. So now we're going to take our arms out to the sides. Now we're going to bring our arms out like we did earlier. Now this time I'm going to have my thumbs pointing back behind me. So the thumbs point back behind me. Good. And I'm going to inhale. Get tall again, remember from your pelvis, lift from your pelvis to your collarbones. The front body is taller than the back body. Release the trapezius down. For most of us with our technology, that area is creeping up to your neck. Let it release, let it release as you lift the top chest forward, up. And now inhale. And then exhale, thumbs back. See if that helps open the chest more. Inhale. And then on the exhalation, bring your thumbs back. Good. And then you can go back to, back to neutral. Inhale. And exhale one more time. See if you can go further this time. Open that chest. Lift the chest. Be tall. Good. Let the shoulder blades go down. Trapezius go down. Keep breathing through your nose. Good, and then we'll relax. Rest a moment. Good, just resting a moment. Now we're going to interlock our fingers. I'm, inter I'm gonna come up so you can see me. I'm interlocking, okay? So now notice here which index finger is on top. So for me, it's my right side, what your left, if you're, uh, if you're seeing that from your end, okay? So I'm just gonna notice, take note. Now, I'm, sit I'm sitting down, we're sitting down, palms out to center. Now here, I want you to spread the palm. So really spread, spread the skin of the palm. And now here is the heel of the hand, right here. And I want you to press through the heel of the hand. Bring it forward, right? Extend the heel of the hand away from you, away from you. Release the trapezius down as you do this and the shoulder blades down. Spread the palm. Now you should feel this in your wrists. So you can see that this would be a nice stretch on the inner forearm, right? And now we're gonna inhale and reach your arms up all the way overhead. So we've done this already, right? Several times. And now reaching up, that's it. So try to get the palms to, as if you could reach the palms up to the ceiling. Reaching the palms up, all the way up, and lifting again from the pelvis to the collarbones. And one more time, inhale, and then on this exhalation, bring your upper arms back. Again, open that area that's been closed, right? That's it, bring the upper arms back. So if you can imagine, they're trying to come back in line with your ear. So that's how much they have to go back. For some of us, we won't be able to reach that far back. So if you can't do this, don't worry. You can always have your hands wide apart. Exhale, release. Just the attempt of doing it is, some, is good to move the body. And now we'll interlock fingers the opposite way. Palms out to center. Spread the fingers. 
shoulder blades down. Release the trapezius down. Make sure that you're not doing this. You do that all at work, on the phone, on the computer. Release the trapezius down. These are just reminders, okay? We keep in mind, keep breathing. And now inhale, reach your arms up. We're doing the opposite index finger on top. And now inhale. And now bring your upper arms back. That's it. Bring them up. Uh, arms are lifting up and back. The upper arms are going back behind your ears, if possible. Keep breathing. And then we'll exhale, relax. Good. Just take a moment and rest here. All right, good. So <clears throat> now you can feel this area here, right? It's <laughs> kind of on fire. So now we want to keep those shoulders, also these corners of the shoulders, these outer shoulders tend to roll forward. We want to roll them back. Keep that area rolling back, right? Spread the collarbones to broaden the chest. And lift the chest. Breathing here through the nose. Good job. Now, <clears throat> moving on now. So um, we're going to go ahead and oh, we're going to do a neck twist next. All right. So we're going to go to the right. So the left hand or the right hand, excuse me, will press into the floor on your support or on your chair, depending on where you are. Now sit, sit tall, sit tall a moment, okay? So lift again, make sure you're lifting your torso, remember, from the pelvis all the way up to your collarbones, right? It's an effort, especially if you don't do this, um, it's definitely an effort. Raise your left arm overhead, okay? Notice that my left arm is once, for a lot of us, it wants to turn out. We're turning it in, okay? Make sure that the tricep, this muscle that runs along here, is activated. So I'm not just hanging the arm in the air. I'm actually using the muscles of the arm. So firm the tricep to the bone. So you activate the tricep. Turn it, turn the arm in. You can use your other arm to help you, your, arm, your hand to help you. Now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to Extend the, the arm and the side, left side towards the right, just like that. Just going over, I'm trying to get into frame here. That's it. Now, lengthen, again, the arms in line with your ear as much as possible. Now, we're gonna look up towards the inner arm. And breathing. Good. And now we're going to inhale and up you come. Good. And we'll do the other side in a moment. Good. <clears throat> so now extend the opposite arm up. You can use your hand if you need to just to turn your arm, but also make sure that your tricep is on. If you're not sure, you can touch and feel. Is that muscle on? Or are you just hanging your arm up over your head? Which isn't really going to correct or really affect this joint area. What we're trying to, first of all, bring awareness and also strengthen at the same time. So make sure that muscle's on, all right? And lift, it also will help you lift. You'll get a little taller on, on the right side now. Okay, so lift both sides, but really lift that right side and exhale. As you elongate, elongate now towards the side. Lengthen the body towards the side. That's it. Mm -hmm. And then turn your neck to your inner arm. Take a breath here. And now inhale, come back, release your arm down. Just sit tall a moment. Good. 
And now bring your hands next to you. You can put them on the chair or on your support if you're sitting. And now lift up. Now here it's super important that the trapezius don't go up. They need to release down. You see how I'm doing that? So they have they're coming up. I've got to release them down. I have to tell them to go down. So it's mind connecting to the body, right? That mind-body connection that we're trying to strengthen here. All right, so lift the chest, be tall. Now, maintain the trapezius going down, especially on the left side, and then maintain that trapezius down and look towards the right. Just turn your neck, not your body, just your neck, and look towards the right side. Look straight in front of you as you release the trapezius down. Now inhale and exhale on the exhalation, move your neck back to center. Good, now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So again, now we're going towards the left, so that right trapezius has to stay down. Notice how one side participates more than the other, right? Cooperates better. So releasing that trapezius down on the right, maintaining your torso is still, it's, um, it's not moving, it's just your neck, right? And you're gonna look towards the left side. Look towards the left. Releasing that right trapezius down. Keeping your torso lifted as you do this. Good, and inhale, and on the exhalation, move your neck back to center. As you notice, and maybe, maybe you don't, it's okay if you don't, but you might notice that one side will turn more than the other, right? You can notice where there's a little bit of tightness on your neck, right? So if that's the case, you might practice the stiff side or the tight side again, right? So these are things that you can do in your own practice. All right, good, nice job. <laughs> now we're gonna do the one we just did before again. All right, so you can see if that helped it the neck twist a little bit more. So reach your left arm overhead, exhale, and we're gonna go over and reach towards the right side of the room, reach over, and then turn your neck towards your inner arm. See if that's a little bit looser second time around. And then inhale, bring your arm down, and we'll do the same thing again. Raise your right arm, turn it in. And then exhale, let's turn towards the left. And then we'll look towards the inner arm. Just breathing here, soft, smooth inhalations. And then inhale, release the arms down. And just sit tall a moment. Okay, just take a moment. It's a good to just take a moment and observe the effects of these poses. Okay, you can observe what side is tighter, what side is looser, what you need to work on. Maybe you feel something, maybe something comes up. Um, again, we're using yoga to let it reveal something about the body that's going on at this point. We just wanna reveal what's going on and observe. Right, so then we can then address and work on what we need to do, what we need to work on. Good, all right. So <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do cow face pose next, okay? So I think we did this last time, but it's a good one because um, you really do feel this one deep. I'm gonna just back up a little bit so you can see me here, but you do feel this in the joint. Um, when I do this, I really feel like getting into that shoulder joint, loosening things up. And I also can feel when things are tight. So just observe for yourself. Like I said, 
um, on your own body what's going on. So first we're gonna start here. We're gonna extend our right arm overhead. And again, I did that adjustment. You can adjust yourself. So that right arm is going. And then I'm gonna bend the elbow. Keep the elbow pointing up as you uh, walk your hand down the back. I'm gonna just turn to the sides so you can see or turn around so you can see. All right, here we go. And just like that. I wanna walk my fingers down the back. Walk my fingers down the back. The elbow stays pointing up. Okay, around here. All right, so that elbow is pointing up, walking my fingers down the back. Now, as you can see, I have to lift this um, left side up. It wants to, this side wants to get longer while this side gets shorter. We're gonna lift to bring some evenness to the left side. Lift, 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 good. That's it, I just want you to do this much right now. And really feeling, I'll push all the effort of that lift. Breathe. But also feeling that tricep and this front, this arm also extend, and you'll start to feel a stretch there in that arm. And now we're going to release. Good job. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side. So we're going to reach your arm up. Again, turn that arm in. All right. And bend the elbow, walk your fingers down your back. So going down towards your spine, down on the back. It's keeping that elbow in. Make sure that this isn't happening. This is what I see a lot in class. Not that. Try to keep that elbow up, up. And then walk your fingers down. Good. Now lift the right side so you're even. Lift it up. Good. Breathing here. And then here you'll start to feel the side ribs expand. Can you feel that? And relax. Nice. Good. Awesome. So now we're going to combine uh, both, because uh, if that was just half the pose, we got to bring the other arm in. So, so for this, for the next one, we are going to do the first part, uh, the arm again, the right arm, and bend the elbow. You know how to do that now. And then we're going to turn this. Uh, left hand in. So the thumb is facing the floor. Okay, turning my arm in, thumb faces the floor, and I'm going to bring it around here. Okay, I'm going to do that a few times. Let's bring it around. Okay, and I'm just going to put it on my lower back today. I'm not going to, I'm just going to do that. So bring the, roll the left shoulder back, left shoulder back. Good. Putting the palm on my lower back, left shoulder back. Good. And lift. That's it. Now, for those flexible people, all right, then you can try to bring your fingers together, and I'll show you what I'm doing here. I'm just going to turn around, and I, from here, this is where I'll stay. Now, if I'm flexible and I want to just, I want to go for it, then you can. You're going to bring your interlock your fingers. Even if you can't reach, you can try. All right, shoulders back. We'll use a strap in a moment. But it's assumed that there's not a lot of equipment used in this workshop. So that's it. And then come down, release slowly for this one. All right, don't yank yourself out of it. You want to be nice and gentle with your body. Good. Awesome. Now, if you have a strap, this is where you would use that strap, the yoga strap. For those of you here, the yoga strap looks like this. Let me get it out for you. Where it is? Oh, here we go. <clears throat> All right. So it looks like this. Mine's already in a loop, which is kind of nice. All right. So you could put it on the shoulder. So you would use it over your shoulder and grab it. All right. Let's go to the other side. If you have one. If you don't, then this class is designed for you just to show up um, at work. It's okay. You can put, you can use this at home. All right. So raise your arm up. We're going to the left side now. Turn the upper arm in. Bend the elbow. Keeping that first side long. And then turn the right arm in and the thumb facing the floor. Good. And you're just going to bring it in. And you can do that a few times. 
All right, now we're going to stand up in a moment and do this. And you're really going to feel that you have more freedom standing up. All right, so now you can hold on to that strap. I'm just going to show you that. So I'm holding on if I have that strap, walking my fingers. If I, if I can reach, then I reach and clasp, interlock the fingers. All right, this takes time. And make sure that when you're in this pose, and you know, this is why everything is taught in stages, because the objective is not to get here. The objective is to really mind your body and to not sacrifice this action for your, for your chest uh, upliftment. So I'm not going to do this. Watch. And then get my fingers. See how I'm collapsing, right? That doesn't really serve me, okay? My, my thoracic spine is slumping again, right? So it's not that. I want to be tall, shoulder back, okay? So that's it. And then I want to reach my fingers up. And, and if I don't clasp, that's okay. It's not the point. More important that you get your alignment and everything in place, then you try and do the pose. Hold on to those fingers. Breathe. And let go. Nice job. Good. Now, I want to stand up now because this is a good pose to be standing. And the chair kind of limits you and your arm. But we are, so we're going to stand here and you're going to see mostly um, my torso here. Okay. Stand tall in mountain pose. Oh, is that crooked or is that my computer? It looks so crooked. Hold on. There we go. Okay, better. All right. Now, if you need your strap, you'll put it on your shoulder like that. We're going to the right first. I'm just going to remove mine, but you'll put it there. All right, so now we're going to raise our arm up, turn the arm in, then the elbow. Now you can see I'm a little bit shorter on this side, so I'm gonna lift up so I'm as even as I can be. And then here, turn the on the left side, turn the arm out, bring an arm the arm out, turn the arm in, thumbs down, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna bend the knees as I throw my arm up, and I'm gonna do that again. Okay, we're gonna bring it out, bend the knees and throw your arm up. There you go, one more time. Arm out and bend the knees and throw your arm up. Good, try to really get that hand up. Good, now again, one more time, lift that right, a left side up, lift it up, roll the shoulder back, lift it up. Be tall here. Just breathe, look straight ahead. Good, and then you'll let go carefully. And we'll finish off on the other side in a moment. Just stand tall. Good, now let's go to the left side. Turn that arm in. Then the elbow, walk your fingers down. And then extend your right arm out. Turn your arm in, thumb down and throw it up and bend the knee, throw it up. This is really good if we're stiff, we're, used, we're doing it many times. In fact, even if you can at home, when you repeat, you can always do this like as many times as you want until you feel a little bit, you know, that you've loosened up a little bit. And then you're gonna clasp your fingers as much as you can, hold onto that strap if you're using a strap and roll the right shoulder back and lift the right side up. Lift the right side up. Make the right side even with the left as much as you can. Breathing here. Good. That's it. And then carefully let go. Good. And now stand tall in mountain pose. Tadasana. Okay, so just like a mountain, this is one of the first poses we learn. All right, a mountain is tall and broad, right? It stands out, right? You know, you can see that's you right now. You're standing tall. Mm -hmm. Shoulders roll back, shoulder blades down the back. 
and stand tall. Good. So you have to lift, you have to press into the heels, lift through the inner arches, lift through the front legs, abdomen and chest lift. You're a tall mountain. Good, and release. Nice, good. That's That looks great. I mean, I really can't see you, but <laughs> I know you look great. <laughs> okay, great. So, wonderful. <clears throat> so now we're gonna take, I'm gonna show you something with the strap. All right, so here's the strap. I'm gonna have it about, now I've made a loop in it. So you wanna have a strap that you can adjust, right? With the buckle. So I'm gonna make it about a little bit wider than shoulder width. So this is why it this um, is customized to you. We're not all the same width. So I'm just gonna put it in one arm and I'm gonna turn it to the side today. I'm gonna to tuck my shirt in just so you can really see um, how I'm standing, the posture, and you're gonna see it from the side now, which will maybe hopefully help a little bit more. I don't know if you can always see from the front. So I have the arm behind me. First, I'm gonna face forward. So I'm gonna put that strap behind me. Turn to the side, mine's a little bit broad, so I'm just gonna tighten it. Okay, so here we go. So I have the straps here at my wrists. Okay, so I'm gonna just bend the elbows here a moment. I'm gonna lift them up until I feel uh, my muscles, my triceps. Okay, these are the triceps right up here, right? And I wanna feel them, first of all, engage, activate. Wake up, guys, wake up. So if we don't use this area, we start to slump, all the muscles around that shoulders will also start to atrophy. So we wanna wake them up so that they're sharp and awake, right? So lift until you feel the triceps working, and then you're gonna to start to extend the elbow back, the shoulders while lengthening back, shoulder blades down, I have it just right behind me and I'm pushing through the strap, so out to the sides, and then also lengthening down from the shoulder blades. Shoulder blades lengthen down. Good, now feel you're still in mountain, so you're still sitting tall. The abdomen is lifting up and back, chest up, as you can see. So I really wanna feel those shoulders, corners of the shoulders back, but also Shoulder blades down and release. Good. All right, just release a moment. Okay, nice job. All right, okay. I hope you guys can feel this um, because it does penetrate. You will feel this. You might even be a little bit sore tomorrow in this area. We're gonna do it one more time. All right. Okay, so again, we're gonna lift up till we feel those triceps working. I wanna feel that. I want it to, my mind, feel that. If you're, not, uh, if you're not feeling it, you might not be lifting it up. Or maybe this is easy for you, all right? I'm speaking to those where this might be new. And so I'm kind of, Try to teach you to connect to the triceps, right? If we haven't before. So lift the elbows up, they're bent right now until we feel them, maintain that, maintain the muscle action, the muscle contraction, right? And then extend through the fingertips into the strap, right? So your wrists are pressing through the straps and the chest is broadening. Collar bones are spreading, chest is lifting as the shoulder blades release down. Take a moment and just breathe here. So just breathing, soft, smooth inhalations. And then relax. Nice job. So it's really important that, that we continue to breathe through these poses, because I do notice sometimes people hold their breath in class, um, but you don't want to do that. You want to keep breathing because 
that's really important. It will really help <clears throat> reinforce the posture. It will also feel better. So we're gonna go ahead now. Um, now that you're standing tall, now that we're you've like gone from the chair to standing. And by the way, next week we're continuing, and next week we'll continue on to the mat. You see how I did that? Chair standing, and next week we're gonna go on to the mat. And we're going to do some actual yoga poses. Not that these are not <laughs> yoga poses, but more. The whole body will be integrated. So, yeah, that's next week at 6 p.m. And that's Eastern time. So let's um, <clears throat> stand tall a moment. So press into your feet. Lift your abdomen up, chest up. Shoulder blades down. Good. So now you don't have anything. See if you can feel the difference from when you started to now. Just observe what that feels like. Breathing through the nose and also exhaling through the nose. And just release. So you can just stand normal. <laughs> so we don't usually stand like that. Um, good. So now let's bring our chair here back to the chair. We love that chair, don't we? Okay. So let's go ahead. Now, I'm going to sit in my chair. And then I'm going to turn to the right. Now, be careful if you are like on a rolly chair, be careful like with the chair with the, <laughs> with the wheels at the bottom. So just be careful. You want to try to be on a solid chair. We're going to turn to the right. Now, I'm facing the right side of the room. Um, I'm, sh I'm showing you, all right? And I'm going to turn now. I'm going to turn my chair to face you, but it's stay there. Don't move, just face the right side. Just so you can see what I'm doing. Facing the right side, which is you guys now. All right, now you see, try to be even. Again, the feet are parallel on the floor and have the heels and the knees, um, the knees over the heels. The thighs are parallel, sit tall, raise your arms up, bring the arms in, and now we're gonna inhale. And exhale, turn towards the back of the chair. Turn towards the back of the chair. Turn the left side towards the right more. Inhale, get tall, and then exhale, turn. Bring your hands to the chair. Hold on to that chair. Okay, so hold on to the corners of the chair, the sides of the chair. Bring your elbows out, inhale. And then turn the body towards the chair. Try to release the shoulder blades as we do this. Inhale, and exhale, turn towards the right more. And inhale, last one, last twist, turn. Hopefully that feels good, and then exhale out. And now we're gonna turn back over here, and now we're gonna turn all the way to the left. So now I'm, you'll see me from behind. All right, and now remember to sit tall, Inhale, lift your arms up. On the exhalation, the torso, abdomen and chest, turn towards the left. Hold on to that chair. Inhale. Exhale, turn. One more time. Inhale and exhale, turn towards the chair. One more time. And turn. Keep going, keep going. And exhale, back to center. And all the way back to center. We're going to do it one more time. And then sit up tall. Raise your arms up. And exhale, turn. Try to combine the uh, breath with the movement. So as we inhale, we lift the body, the torso. We get tall, and then on the exhale, turn the body towards the chair. So the body is turning from left to right. Inhale, 
Bring the back ribs, the left ribs towards the right more. Inhale and exhale, turn. Now inhale, exhale back to center. Go all the way over to the left side. Pivot on your chair. Stand tall. Raise your arms up. And exhale, turn towards the left. Hold on to the corners of the chair. Bring your elbows out and turn. Inhale, get tall. And exhale, turn the body. Really turn the body. One more time. Inhale. And exhale, turn. Good. And out. So make sure when you're doing that, that you're turning with your torso. Because uh, a lot of us can turn with the neck. It's actually more mobile. It takes a lot of, um, it'll take the pose versus, it'll do the pose versus your, your torso. It's really turning the torso. Turning the torso and turning the torso from left to right. You see how my neck's not turning? And then the neck turns. So it's kind of like the cherry on top. Up to the very end, <laughs> okay? So <laughs> your torso has to turn. Good, awesome. Now, <clears throat> uh, we're gonna sit up tall now, all right? Sit up tall and just observe yourself a moment. Shoulders back, shoulder blades down the back. Then making sure that abdomen is lifting, right? So we don't want it to just plop everything out. We want to lift up from the pelvis up to the sides of the navel. Sides of the navel up and back, bottom sternum to top sternum. I just want you to be here a moment. Now, we did a lot today. And our workshop is coming to a close. Normally, we would lie down in Shavasana. But for today, we're going to do a sitting Shavasana. All right? So we're going to sit up tall. And I want you to release these trapezius. So make sure that they're not coming up or they're not squeezing up. Let them release down. Let them go down. Now you have the option to close your eyes. You can just look forward, softly gaze forward so you're not shifting your focus, but you're just softly gazing forward, connecting to your breath. Sitting still here which is just as important as our movement that we just did. Letting yourself be still. Letting yourself receive the yoga and letting your nervous system process what you've just done. Giving yourself time <clears throat> for your body to do what it needs to do. You bring your hands to your heart. Try not to disturb anything 
trapezius releasing down, chest lifting up, pressing the palms into each other. And bow your head down. And gently lift your head. Namaste. So I want to say thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed neck and shoulders. You might feel a little bit stimulated. Take a moment to let yourself recover. Let your body recover, even though we can mostly mentally recover, our systems need time usually to process what we've gone through in yoga. So if you have any questions, you can go ahead and ask. I'm just going to look at this chat that I got. Um, thank you, Antoinette. It was nice meeting you too. I'm going to go ahead and, oh, okay, the chats are coming in and, and the recording here.